All right, here we have two virtual zebra skins. Um, the bottom one I showed to a client, Eleanor. Um, and she's not sure if it's going to be too big for her area. So I've got a slightly smaller one on top of the bigger one. Um, and the one on the top, she hasn't seen yet. So Eleanor, if you're watching, um, this is the comparison. I'm not sure if the sun is in the way. But yeah, okay, so as you as you know, um, the length of the one on the bottom is 11.5 feet long from, from the tip of the nose, right, all the way down to the tip of the tail, so till here, it's 11.5 feet. If you take it from the tip of the nose to the bum, to over there, we're looking at 9 feet and then wide. It's 6.2 feet. So I measure it from the belly. So from the side of the belly. So from there all the way till there, we're looking at 6.2 feet. Now the one on top is slightly smaller. So let's just wait for this little cruiser to come past. Hey, hey, hey. They want food. So, um, as you can see, the one on top, it's a lot less wide. Um, so, the two heads are basically almost together. But you can see where the one on top, the, its bum is a little bit, uh, it's maybe, I don't know, half a foot uh, shorter. And quite a bit narrower, narrower. <clears throat> so just looking at uh, the colors the pattern the mane I would say it's got a very slightly better mane <coughs> ever slightly better mane just because it seems a little bit longer the hairs seem a little bit longer and more straight um, so what I, what, what I particularly like about the smaller one is I like these wavy patterns of the skin. These little white dots is just because um, the skin's new. So it's basically just like, like that, the white stuff they scratch off the back of the skin. You just use a strong vacuum and you'll get, get it off. It's basically just because it's brand new. So yeah. Um, sorry for the noise. I'm on my patio. So yeah, you can see it's, it's got no defects. I mean, if I had to zoom in, like it's got a tiny little nick there. That's the only thing I've noticed. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's just a piece of leaf. Um, so it might, it's got that. Oh no, wait, that's, I'm not sure what that is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's got no holes, no patches, no tears. Oh, that's just a piece of leaf so it's literally pretty much spotless um, I like this one so I like it because of the the color the patterns the mane I like it the wavy hairs um, and yeah if I get some height here if I can get some height you can you can have a good comparison now see this is my neighborhood it's just a bit noisy um yeah so there we go there's a comparison value for money the bigger one is obviously the the biggest demand people always want the bigger ones bigger bigger is better always um but when you're going some when you're getting something smaller the quality tends to get better of the hair and the height <coughs> but people always tend to want a bigger rug because they have big houses <coughs> Sometimes I get clients in the UK that have apartments and they, they purposely want a smaller rug to fit in their space. So yeah, sometimes people don't have the biggest lounge. Uh, sometimes people have a small coffee table. <coughs> but you can see it's considerably uh, narrower. narrower. <laughs> That's a word. I'm not English. Uh, my English is struggling. Um, but yeah, you can see the neck slightly less wide. 
if I put it in the middle you can see it's also not all the way to the nose let me just pull it okay so there you can see there it's quite that's about I don't know a foot a little over a foot what is a foot in America that's that's one foot isn't it I don't know <laughs> we don't use feet in South Africa so yeah there's a the comparison let me just jump up here you can see it's quite quite a difference um, yeah, like I said, the one on top is beautiful. But um, I don't know if you don't like any one of these two, just tell me and I will send you more videos and more photos. That's not a problem at all. So I've got quite a bit of stock. I think I have about 30 or so. But uh, it's just a mission to drag them out and measure them. and It's just work. But if you don't like any one of these two, I'll grab more out, out of the stock room and then show you what they look like. But yeah, there, we, there you have it. Just to compare this one on top to the one on the bottom. Show you. See this one's main in the front, it stands up a little bit more. And it almost feels like the other one's got a better main. Um, but yeah, yes, this is this big one. As you can see, it's huge. The camera is literally on the roof right now, against the roof. And it's taking up the whole patio. So this skin is massive. This the skin will sell in the next few days. So in the next few days, the skin is definitely sold. But you can see the hair. It's not. It's not wavy. It's very short, extremely short, and it's got a very deep brown in it. Each client's different. Some clients want no brown, they just want black and white, but that's very hard to get. Other clients, you know, want longer hair, other ones want shorter hair. Um, someone want a more white skin, some want less brown, more brown. The more popular skins are the, the darker browner ones. So, um, but yeah, what you want to look at for is the mane, the stripes, any holes, the size, the quality of the tanning, which you don't get better than this. This is the best tanning we have. And yeah, little details like the tail. I mean, it's a standard tail, so um, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think, Eleanor. Cool, cheers.